And I demand that Ron DeSantis and Chris Christie and Nikki Haley do the same thing. All I'm gonna say to this before we, before we end this is pray for Trump, okay? Pray for Trump, because what's gonna happen is they are trying their damnness to get him up out of here. Let's say all of their tricks don't work. What's the final trick that they'll potentially try? Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click that like button as well. Uh, much love to everybody out there who are fighting a good fight and doing what you got to do, just doing things the proper way and hoping that things will work out the way that they're supposed to. Unfortunately, some people like to play dirty, all right? Shout out to Colorado for playing dirty as hell. All right, so apparently the justices... Um, out of the seven, there was a four to three ruling um, that concludes that Trump engaged in an insurrection with his words and actions around the um, January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol and therefore cannot hold the nation's highest office again. They just decided that by themselves. And of course, Colorado's Supreme Court justices are all Democratic appointed. All right. It says that the Colorado Supreme Court um, ruled on Tuesday. On Tuesday, that former President um, Trump is disqualified from holding the presidency under the Constitution's so-called insurrection clause. But the issue divided the seven justices, all of whom were appointed by Democratic governors. Now, of course, we already know our man Vivek Ramaswamy got something to say about it. You're not going to be able to pull the wool over our eyes without Vivek having something to say. And we're about to be quiet and let him do his thing. Thing, all right? Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about this in the comments. Let's get to it. They have just tried to bar President Trump from the Colorado ballot using an unconstitutional maneuver that is a bastardization of the 14th Amendment to our U.S. Constitution. This was a provision, Section 3, that was designed to bar Confederate members, people who switched to the Confederacy, from actually being able to serve. That's very different than what's at issue here, to say the least. This is a hollowed-out husk of what the country was built on. The basic principle that we the people select our leadership, not the unelected elite class in the back of palace halls. That's old world Europe, not the United States. And unfortunately, we'll never be able to get back to those times again, because right now it's like we're not getting our way. We need to shut up our enemy, shut up our opposition by playing whatever dirty tricks we have to play. And right now, those nine electoral votes, those nine electoral votes that belong to Colorado, they are trying to strip them away. I knew that they was going to try to do whatever in their power. And I'm not even talking about only Colorado. It starts in Colorado. Once other states see that it's happened in Colorado, they're going to start doing it in other states and other states and other states and other states. This is just the beginning right here. I knew that they was doing something, man. They're trying to disqualify this dude because they already know that they don't have anybody to beat him. And y'all already saw that um, Biden, they already removed um, um, the primaries for, for anybody to run against Biden. So... He don't even know his, if he's going to be alive, bro. The dude is already about 98 years old. He's not running his, off, his, 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 his administration at this point. Let me be quiet. I'm, I promise you I'm going to be quiet. All right, let's go. That's why I'm making a pledge today that I will withdraw. I pledge to withdraw from the Colorado GOP primary ballot unless and until Tr Trump's name is restored. And I demand that Ron DeSantis and Chris Christie and Nikki Haley do the same thing. And that's only fair, guys. And I promise you, I'm not going to keep on talking, but that's only fair. If, if, if this man has decided, you know what? I'm removing my name from this list. I mean, from the Colorado, Colorado voting as well. Um, as a matter of fact, when y'all go, just write my name in if that's, if that's what it's going to be. But clearly, these guys already know that they cannot win fair and square. So we need to make sure we send the message. So Nikki Haley, do what you got to do. Chris Christie, do what you got to do. Ron DeSantis, do what you got to do. He, Vivek already said, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to stand next to Trump, although I'm going up against him. I'm going to stand next to him because this is not right. All right? Because at the end of the day, get over your little selfish ide um, ideologies and understand that this country is going to sugar honey iced tea if we allow so much to continue to be stripped away from us. Like, this is our... This is our rights here that we're talking about. Okay, I right, Van's about to be quiet. For real, I'm going to be quiet this time. Or else these Republicans are simply complicit in this unconstitutional attack 
on the way we conduct our constitutional republic. I refuse to be complicit in that. I think what they're doing is wrong. And I think it's up to Republicans to step up and stand up with a spine for our country's future. That's really what's at stake. Whether we, the people, actually have a say in deciding who leads this country. Yes, it would be easier for other Republicans like me who are running in this race to say, hey, if Trump is sidelined, there's our opportunity. No doubt other candidates are probably privately celebrating with their corporate sponsors. They are hoping that he is sidelined. Y'all already know that this has been the play the entire time. This has been the play the entire time. They wanted to like um, 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 they wanted to embarrass him in the eyes and minds of, of voters around the country. They wanted to make him look less presidential. So, and, and since they are realizing, just by looking at the polls, they're, <laughs> they're realizing that their plans and schemes have not been working. So, we got to go to plan E, plan F, plan G. I don't even know what letter they're on right now. It's clearly not A, B, or C, or D right now because they've tried many other things already. They've, they've, they've been keeping him in court, trying to send him to jail, trying to, um, trying to go after his family, all of this other stuff. And at the same time, not even running our own. This this administration is being run horribly. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be quiet at this point. I just I'm seeing behind the tricks. Hopefully, these other people see as well, and they make a statement. Ron DeSantis, bro, it's on you, man. You need to come out and do something about it. You are next up. You are the one that everybody been been talking about could potentially win this thing. You need to come out and be like, yo. If that's what Colorado is doing to one of us, then they'll do it to all of us. This is unconstitutional. You need to make a statement, bro. That's not the right thing to do. I think the most useful thing that every GOP candidate can do right now is to join me in that pledge. I'll say that I will withdraw from that Colorado GOP primary ballot until Trump's name is restored. This belongs to the people, not to the unelected Democratic cabal of judges in Colorado or any other state. And I demand that Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Chris Christie do the same thing or else they're complicit in what this security state is trying to do to shut down Trump. And I uh, I stand by that and I expect them to do the right thing. I love how he was how he was stern in what he says. And I just now looked this up. It says the rule of four is what they tried to get him on. Um, and it says that the rule of four is um, the Supreme Court's practice of granting a potential a petition for review only if there are at least four votes to do so. The rule is an unwritten internal one. It is not dictated by any law nor the Constitution. So why are we doing this right here? Well, we're doing this because higher-ups have said, we got to get this guy up out of here. He cannot be president again. All I'm going to say to this before we, before we end this is pray for Trump, Okay pray for Trump because what's going to happen is they are trying their damnness to get him up out of here. Let's say all of their tricks don't work. What's the final trick that they'll potentially try? I'm not going to put any ideas out there in the atmosphere because I, y'all already know, man, they are desperate at this point. Desperate. Because they know that the president that is currently running this country is not doing a great job and, um, and I'm, when I say not doing a great job, I was about to use some choice words, but I'm going to be more um, mature than that. <laughs> I'm going to be more Christian than that. I'm going to be the, be the God-loving man that I am. 